Hi everybody, welcome back to Dusty Coloring. Um, if you're new to the channel, I just want to say hello and welcome and thanks for spending time today. So uh, today's video is my completed page video for the month of October 2023. This is my spooky month. I color all spooky um, pages. And if you watched my coloring plan video um, for October, I did nothing. <laughs> nothing that I really wanted to do in my plan video. I don't know. In the beginning of the month, I had a little bit of trouble um, getting into the groove. So I have a bunch of whips, but I'm going to show them. Um, I have a bunch of, I don't know, for whatever reason, I did just couldn't get into it, whether it was the page or the paper or, I don't know, it took me a little time to get going this month. Um, and then I ended up doing a lot of PDFs. I was waiting for people, um, publishers and stuff to put out Halloween books. And I feel like there weren't that many Halloween books, but there were a ton of, um, Halloween PDFs that came out like mid month. So kind of gravitated towards those. So I'll be showing those. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So, uh, let's dive in. Um, not a big no haul this month. Um, trying to save, um, things for around Christmas time. So I have a couple little things to open cause I'm a big kid at heart. Um, so unless I really need a supply or really want a book. Um, so there's not much, no, I think I have two new books in this, um, video because I colored in them. So I'll just let you know. Um, which one was a, a new purchase. I think it's like one or two. Um, so yeah, so anyway, I ended up coloring. Oh, so this one is um, the Mythogoria Night Terrors. So I really love this book. This is my favorite of the Mythogorias, um, but I don't love the paper. And I don't know, I have a lot of abandoned pages in here and every page that I did complete, I don't love. This one included. Um, so I had started, I just want to show you guys, because I said I, would, I was going to show my whips because there's so many, um, I started this page and um, I just didn't like the way it was coming out. I mean, it probably looks decent on camera, but I kind of struggle with the paper. Um, I was using my Prismacolors and I know I don't like using my Prismacolors in these books, but I don't know. I just see people use them and I know it's all about how you lay down your pencil. So I just wanted to try. I'm determined, but I abandoned this one. And then the pages that I flagged to color... Um, I had wanted to color this one, but I didn't. And I even had another one flagged, um, but I didn't end up coloring it. So um, I just ended up going with this page. And basically it's just acrylic paint. And uh, guys, if you have any suggestions on how to <laughs> use washi tape to border, I'm doing something wrong. Because I've used washi tape, different kinds, different brands. I've used painter's tape. I've used craft tape. No matter what I use, I rip my paper. My paper rips. I don't know. Um, I've even tried rubbing it on my like sweatpants to get it linty. Doesn't work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I didn't even bother um, doing it in this book. So it's a little sloppy, but whatever. Uh, so I don't love it. Um, one out of ten, I give it a six, in my opinion, on my the fun I had coloring this was probably a four, um, but I wanted to do it. I didn't want another whip. So I got this one done and it's just Prismacolor pencil, white splatter paint and black acrylic paint. And then the white paint for like a foggy effect just to fill in some of the black because I just didn't feel like doing anything else with it. So yeah, so that is my Mythagoria um, completed page and a little bit of drama, but here we go. And I put my little bat washi tape on it so that I know my coloring book is Halloween, even though I know mythogorias are always gory, but I was just doing that with a lot of the pages. Um, next up, and I saw, I'm sorry for the glare, but I have this book printed out on PDF. It's my fierce and fancy fantasy faces. I don't know. I, here we go. Fantasy faces, whatever. Fierce and fancy fantasy it's a mouthful that is a mouthful Hannah a mouthful anyway love the book though um and I colored uh the vampire girl page and I'm gonna I'll take her out just because of the glare she's cut down a little bit I trimmed the paper um I'd rather have the book but I don't love the paper in the books so I printed out the pdf but I think I am going to put the book on my list just 
I like the pocket size, how they look completed. Um, but first I'm gonna color in what I have, but we'll see. So I completed her, she's all Prismacolor pencil. Um, yeah, just Prismacolor pencil, some uh, Ohuhu for a uh, base for the skin because it's just easier for me. I'm not really good with skin tones and I like basing them with marker, kind of helps me out a little bit. And I had fun coloring her. Uh, this book I might put on my books to complete for next year, but we'll see how it goes. And yeah, just had a lot of fun coloring her. I think I use, nope, that's, that's just pencil. Sometimes I use like um, acrylic paint for blood, but I didn't on this one. She's just straight up pencil. Maybe some white gel pen. Yeah, so that is my coloring uh, page from Hannah Lynn's Fierce and Fancy Fantasy Faces. And I have the PDF version, so put it in there. Um, my next one, and so I have a couple, <laughs> again, I love Teresa Goodridge. I hate the paper in these books. I don't know. It's just me. And I watch people color and they do masterpieces and I get so inspired and then I get into it and I'm just like, oh, sorry if you hit my chair. It's like squeaking. Um, it just doesn't, it doesn't work for me. Uh, so I have some whips, <laughs> some, I have a whip. Um, let me see, where is my whip? I did color a page in here too. So I started coloring this page um, and I kind of went in with a pencil but I didn't like how it was coming out. Um, I didn't totally didn't. I like how it was coming out, but I, for some reason, I just didn't feel it anymore. I didn't want to do it. So I abandoned it. I was going in with some marker background and some pencil. I'll complete that with that another time. I think I had, did I have another whip? No, I didn't. Okay. So then I started coloring this page. Um, and I really had to struggle a little bit here um, to get it done. So I decided to rip it out. And I decided to copy it on my own paper, which I did. And this part is actually copied because I had colored this page. And my printer actually, I have a new printer for this stuff. It kind of worked out really well. So I wasn't upset. So, um, and then I just colored this page. And I like the way it came out on my paper. I thought it came out very cute. Um, I use some stickles. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, I don't know, lighting's a little off. It's like a cloudy day here. I raised my thing, but now my neighbors could see me. It's like the house looks right across from me. Um, but I'll try. I'll just wave if I see her peeking. Um, yeah, so yeah, some stickles over here. Some gold uh, gel pen just for the buckles. And that was it, and I had some fun coloring um this one it made it a lot more enjoyable so i think going forward because i really love this one this is the um autumn harvest um what it's got some really cute ones in here i think i might want to color in november and then i'm just going to like paper clip these together and just keep everything i do in this book like i'm not gonna put it in a file jacket or anything like that i'm just gonna keep it in the book for now um because i don't know how many pages i am going to color in this um but I would like to complete one of Creative Haven's books next year. I'm thinking big, guys. But I will see what happens. So, yeah. So, that's Autumn Harvest by Teresa Goodridge. I actually really love that book. Okay. Uh, next, we have Frightling's Halloween. So I decided to try a little something different with some of my coloring pages. Um, I decided that I wanted to, uh, I'm closing the shade. I just don't feel comfortable. Okay. Um, I decided that um, I want to try adding like a little embellishment to my pages. Um, so I decided to color the mummy page. Now I use cotton for the gauze. I wanted to use gauze. I suggest using gauze. But what happened, and I actually started to do a color along video for this because someone asked me to do color alongs and I was like, all right, I'm gonna do them. Very bad at them because I'm kind of all over the page when I color. So I might do 
a live one, but I don't really have a lot. I don't know what, I can't talk in color at the same time. So I don't know. I'm going to figure it out, guys, because a lot of you are requesting it. Um, But I might do like an embellishment series, like where I add things to pages and color along. But anyway, use gauze. What happened was I wanted to use gauze. And I really wanted to finish this page. And I love how it was coming out. I used my Prismacolor pencils. I was having such a good time coloring. And I had filmed all of this. And then, I don't know, things just went south. But I went to the store four times to pick up gauze. And I left with like $75 worth of groceries each time. Which is absolutely insane. And never picked up the gauze. Never picked it up. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to go to the pharmacy store instead. You know, no food, just like pharmacy stuff. And I never did. So I decided that I'm just going to use cotton because it's costing me so much money to go get gauze. <laughs> so I just stopped. But it would have looked really, really good with the gauze because I had um, gauze looking tape, like wrap tape, like for your ankle or your wrist. But it just wasn't sticking right um, with my glue. So I just did the cotton. But I suggest it's a lot of fun if you add things to your pages like that. You try but use the gauze because it would have came out so much better. And then you could have like colored on it a little bit to make it like discolored. I mean, the cotton's just all over the place, but you get the effect I was going for. And I'm really, really, really happy with how everything else came out. My color combinations and everything else. So I did have a lot of fun coloring this, even though this page cost me a fortune. Anyway, so that is the Coloring Evans Frightlings Halloween and um, I know someone's going to say, why don't you just go on Amazon and order it then? Because I like to get out of the house every now and then because I work from home. Um, so I've run my errands on my break. And I was just like, I'm going to get gauze. I went to the supermarkets. And each day I got groceries. Yeah. So anyway. Frightlings Halloween. That was a fun page. Um, did I color one in here? Do I have a whip? I have, I have a whip. So A Million Little Monsters um, by Lulu Mayo. I really wanted to get coloring in this one. I um, just want to make sure that I don't have any other whips in here that I did not flag. Okay, so here is my page. I started to color this page. Um, I stopped. I'm not sure why. Um, like I said, I just had a step away from a lot of... I just wasn't happy with how things were coming out and whatnot. Um, I wasn't unhappy with this, but I just I just didn't want to do it anymore. But I like how my little pumpkin person came out. Um, I liked how my little wolf dog mummy was coming out. Um, but I just stopped. So unfortunately, yeah. So that is, and I just did black acrylic background and I was using Prismacolor pencils. Some gel pen, no, some paint pens, the Ohuhu acrylic markers, which, by the way, guys, I really like the Ohuhu acrylic paint markers. Um, I've got so many paint pens, but um, these are the ones. I have them right out on my desk um, in my little bag. I have these bags all, and I write on here, like, what it is, and then I store them in, like, a decorative, like, shoe box, some craft box. Um, but, yeah. So I hope you could see it, oh, acrylic paint marker, and um, it's oh hoo, hoo But this is the one. Right here, so you can see, they're really good. I re I enjoy them. So I've had them a while. Um, yeah. So I that was my whip in a million little monsters. Um, such a cute book. So much fun. But I don't know. Just I stopped. Then I have another whip. Unfortunately, someone was like, oh, I really hope you get to finish it. Because I did say last month that um, in the uh, Nicolette Delafray's Colors of Autumn, um, I was going to do one of the Halloween bonus pages in the back. And they were like, oh, I hope I can't wait. I, I want to see it. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I just couldn't get into it. I tried. I did color a little more, more than I had. Um, <laughs> not much more because it's a double page spread. But I tried. Um... I laid down some marker and then I colored over it with some Prismacolor pencil. Um, I started coloring, shading in some of the pumpkins, but it was a lot and I just I wasn't feeling it. There was so much more I wanted to do. And I really started tackling this at the beginning of the month. And that's when I was kind of like not 
really into it. But I am going to try and get something in this book done maybe for November. We'll see. So, sorry. Uh, it's a disappoint. I just didn't get to it. But it really is such an adorable, adorable page. Like, really, such a cute page. Um, yeah, and her pages are single-sided, so you can jump in with marker, which I was doing for a little for the base, just to help me along. But I will get back to it at some point. I'm, I'm just not sure when. I'm going to put that back on my plate right now. I'm going to save the PDFs to the end. Oh, here is a non-Halloween book that I purchased. So I'm a huge, I like Looney Tunes. Um, I don't know. I just always love Looney Tunes. And I saw that the um, Hachette Heroes came out with the color by number um, art therapy Looney Tunes. And it was available on Amazon US. So I grabbed it. Um, it's just really Looney Tunes. I'm going to show the back just so you guys can see. So if you don't like to look at it, just close your eyes and I'll tell you when to open them. Um, just some of, here are just some of the things you're gonna see some tom and jerry some daffy duck um, wiley coyote just yeah okay you could open your eyes i'm not gonna show it all and i decided to start to color uh this page but you know it takes a while and i'm using the ohuhu acrylic pens um and this is going to be i'm gonna show page 27 hang on i'll tell you when to close your eyes okay close your eyes if you don't want to see the going to be the um gossamer and bugs bunny yeah so that's my whip and that's going to be a long-standing whip because it takes me really a long time to get into the groove of these books and it's hard for me to see i'm like old lady i need like a magnifying glass um next page colored was in um the tiny little horror book coloring book and this is by glenn dent um this one it was just it started out as a whip, and then I just went in and finished it because I was like, how can I have a whip in a book so tiny? Um, and I colored the ghosts. So it's just some um, acrylic, oh, I'm sorry, alcohol marker, acrylic paint, pencil, shading, and I boarded it sloppily in washi tape. Um, I just wasn't having fun with this one, but I wanted to get it done. And did I have a whip in here? God bless you. Oh, my cat sneezes. Um, she gets blessings too when she sneezes. Um, yeah. So that was it. That was my little do that in um the tiny little horrors coloring book by Glenn Dent. So a spooky color along. Um, I bought this book specially because Christina from Christina's Art Corner picks a page in this book and I was like I'm gonna color along with it and it's a whip I couldn't get into it um again I know everything I started at the beginning like the first week week and a half in October and I had I just didn't want to do I don't know I don't know there wasn't a lot going on either I don't know I just think I don't really know guys but anyway you ever get into those like kind of like slumps um this was the page she picked and I just didn't Get to finish it um i used pastel for the background chalk pastel I, I didn't love how it came out i used um glitter gel pen um for some of the elements if you can see it and then i just decided to stop um but next month she picked another page and i am going to try my hardest to do it um yeah so this is by sarah seswick um and it is the spooky coloring book. And it's a, it really is an adorable book. I forgot what page she picked. Um, I got to go back and look. But I'm definitely going to try and do it next month. Um, my Coco Wild 30 Days to Halloween. I was so gung-ho when I got this book. I saw it. I purchased it in September. I was like, I'm going to color a page a day and finish this book. Didn't do it. Um... I found that I had less time in October to color than I wanted um, by the time my day ended and I got to sit down to color and I just didn't want to waste it coloring in this book. So I'll show you my whips. I tried, I tried, tried, tried. Um, I did this page. So this one was completed. <laughs> this is 
day one, the ghost page, and I did it um, in two days. <laughs> I didn't, so. And then I started the mummy, which I really liked how it was coming out. But as you can see, like, I didn't even finish, like, blending um, the gauze. And I used marker and pencil on these. Um, and I stopped. I started to do a little bit of day three, but I didn't do it on day three. I think I was on like day eight when I picked this up. And I didn't finish it. And that was it. So I did not get to finish it. Perhaps I will dive back into it um, and just color some pages in order, you know, just when I feel like it and just do it in order and see if I can complete it at some point, but we'll see. Cute book if you haven't seen it. Um, all Halloween images and then the number of the day, you know, day this, day that. It's like Halloween advent. But yeah, I just didn't want to take my time. My minimum, you know, I didn't have a lot of time and I didn't want to use all my time coloring in this book. So otherwise this would have been like the only book I really colored in. So it didn't pan out, but that was by Coco Wild. Matchstick Mouse Pumpkin Party Coloring Book. Um, I believe I did finish my whip. This was a whip in September, and I had said I was going to carry it over to October, and I did. And this is all um, Prismacolor pencil. I had a lot, a lot of fun coloring this page. I don't know if you can see. It's a kind of shiny paper, so um, it, it kind of gets a little bit of a glare. But it was really fun. Love how my Prismacolors perform in this book. Um, yeah, so that was the only page that I colored um, in October. This is the new one. And this is the Matchstick Mouse Pumpkin Party by Morgan O'Brien. Um, and then I know I have another one by him here. Ah, okay, so here's a new one. So this one I purchased, it just came out. It's by Morgan O'Brien, it's Annie Day. Um, I'll do a quick flip. It's on the same paper as Pumpkin Party. So it's that little bit of better paper. Um, new characters, Annie Day. So this, this is a very cute book. I don't want you to see that page yet because I have to explain what I did. And I was like, okay, I definitely want this book. I grabbed it. This is my new purchase. I wanted a color in it. And when it came, I was like, okay, I'm doing spooky colorings. So I didn't want to do a non-spooky thing. So I turned a page from this book into a Halloween page. And this is the page. And it's a little bit glittery because I used actual glitter on it. But so she was just walking down steps. And what I, <laughs> what I did was I added a moon with bats. I gave her teeth and fangs. I added a scary face to the tree and some eyes behind the tree. And that was it. And then I actually used some glue and some actual glitter, which what was I thinking, guys? I'm still picking up glitter. Um, should have just used stickles, but I wanted to try something. But yeah, look, it's on my hands as we're speaking. So, but yeah, I had a lot of fun trying to convert a page into Halloween. And I tried to do it again in um, a romantic country book. Um, and it was an epic fail and I just put the book back on the shelf. I'm not even showing it. It was just disastrous, but this one came out, I guess, cause it was smaller and it, all I really did was add a face, some eyes and a moon and some bats. But I had a lot of fun doing that. Got, I got to color in the book and I was, oh, sorry if the camera's shaking. And I was able to keep up with my spooky vibe. And that is in the new one by Morgan O'Brien. Um, any day. Uh, next up, we have another Coco Wild spooky doll. So if you watched my coloring plan video, I wanted to color this page, but I did not. Instead, I colored this page. And again, a lot of fun. Um, I used alcohol marker for a base and I shaded, um, 
Well, I didn't use it for everything. I used it just uh, for her. I believe I based her with alcohol marker, her face, her dress. Her hair is straight up pencil. The houses are straight up. He's uh, straight, except for his hat, the straw um, part. He's straight up Prismacolor. Yeah, so this was a lot of fun to do. Um, I think I opted for this one because it was less going on than that first page I selected. I felt like I would have had to do a lot of um, colors and stuff. I still really want to color this one, so I'm going, I think I might um, at some point, but I just decided to stick with this page and keep it simple. Um, and it was a lot of fun to do. So, and actually it was, was it my first, it was my first page colored in here. I should have used the um, Lavella and T's um, Color Your Hoard and I didn't. Um, or maybe I did, I have to say, I think I posted this on my Instagram, so I have to check it out and see if I did. If not, I'll go back and put that hashtag in for October because yeah, that was my first page colored in here, so. That's Spooky Doll by Coco Wild. Um, next up is the Dunkle Buns. Um, how I say it phonetically, I don't really know if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, this is by Sarah Richter. Um, such a great book. Thick, thick, thick cardstock paper. And I colored Frankenstein's Bride. And I just used my Prismacolor pencils here. Um, maybe some white gel pen, and that was really it. <clears throat> I wanted to do a Neo Color 2 background, but I don't know, I wasn't feeling it, and I really didn't want to mess up this page, so I just left it blank for now. Down the line, I can go um, in and do background, but I just wanted to leave her. I was happy with how she came out. Um, there are some things I would have added, but I just wanted to keep it straight coloring. I didn't want to lose my interest in it. I didn't want to ruin it. So I just went straight in Prismacolor pencil. Yep. And I had a lot of, I, I had fun coloring her. She was fun. This paper is great. It's so enjoyable to color on this paper. So pump, it's cool. Oh no. So Frankenstein's Bride. Oh yeah. So names are on the back. And that was a lot of fun. And again, Dunkle Bund um, by Sarah Richter. She's an amazing artist. I love all of her stuff. Uh, next up, I colored in Cute and Creepy by Camilla De Erico, And I actually did two pages in here. I think I have this in here. I don't, want, I don't seal my pages. I don't want things to get... I colored the zombie boy and the zombie girl. So here's the zombie boy. All Prismacolor pencil. And then I splattered. I used red acrylic paint for the blood. And I splattered the red acrylic paint all over the page for the blood effect. And then I colored the opposite page, the girl. Um, I did not use red acrylic paint. Um, I just used straight Prismacolor. And that was it. And I didn't really splatter her at all. I was able to get these two pages down. I do enjoy coloring in her book. Some of her pages are a little daunting to me. Like I don't like all this stuff in the back. Kind of makes me a little apprehensive to dive into some of it. But these are simple and straightforward. And I figured let me give it a go. And I had a lot of fun. And that was in um, Camilla de Arico's Cute and Creepy. Uh, one more book and then I'll show you my PDFs. Oh wait, I have another whip book, so I lied. Okay, let me show you the whip first. I have um, Alexander Francis. I have Spooky Vibes. I have two whips in here. Um, whip number one was this page. I went in with alcohol marker and then I just abandoned it. I didn't like the way it was coming out, so I stopped. Um, and then whip number two, I just didn't get to finish it. Um, I'm actually in the process of doing it, but... I don't think it's going to be completed by the end of October. So I'll show you the completed page if I do it in November, at the end of November. But I just wanted to show you guys what I was currently working on was this page. So for now, this is a whip. This is Spooky Vibes, a travel size coloring book by Alexander Franzis. And then one of my second favorite Jade Summer book. Kawaii Horror. Um, Chibi Horror is my first favorite, and I didn't color in it this month. Um, 
It just didn't feel like it. Uh, but I did color in the Kawaii Horror and I colored two pages. I color this page and this is all alcohol marker and shading with Prismacolor pencil and I used gold gel pen to go over things on her dress. So she's based in all marker and then shaded with pencil. And then I color the Graveyard Girl. Same um, thing, laid down all alcohol marker. Used some acrylic paint pen for some accents and highlights and minimal shading with Prismacolor pencil. And this is a grayscale coloring book, a dark grayscale. So markers perform very, very well in here. It makes for an easy, relaxing coloring. That's why, kind of why I love it so much. And that's the Kawaii Horror by Jade Summer. I believe on Etsy you can get this in PDF. I believe I own the PDF as well, but I just want to get the book done. And then I can go back and redo things. They do give you two sets in the book. Okay, so some PDFs. Oh, excuse me. I'm so tired. Okay. So I'm not taking uh, the ones that I did not complete out of the um, file jacket but Kevin Teo um, Kevin Teo art on Etsy he released like a little book of some Halloween images so I have I didn't purchase the book because I was I got notified that there were updates and it shows you like each picture and I was like oh it's a card purchase oh it's a card buy now buy now buy now and then when I got to the end of the list it was the book so I could have just bought the book so I believe there's a compilation of all these in like one, one thing where you can buy them individually. Um, the little clown from it, Freddy Krueger. I don't know if Disney Meg is watching this, but look how cute is the Ursula. Very, very cute. <laughs> we got a little Ursula here. And then um, those are the ones that I didn't color. And then the ones that I did color in, I colored the Jason. So for this, I used my Prismacolor pencils. I used red acrylic paint for the blood and Neo Color 2 for the background. I don't know why I made it a galaxy sky. I kind of felt like, okay, maybe it's a really nice night out and he's waiting on the dock of the lake to kill people. I don't know. Um, I think next time, Maybe like an orange red combo would have looked better, but whatever. I went with Galaxy. Um, but I really had so much fun coloring him. Very, very cute. So yeah. So that was my Jason Voorhees. And that's a PDF by Kevin Tail. Um, and then I know there was another one. Yes. Color another one by Kevin Tail. I colored Chucky. And this one I had a lot of fun with. I don't know if you can see, but I added cotton to the stuffing. The bear is like, teddy bears like ripped apart. So I added the cotton to, so it's like stuffing is all over the place. And it's easy to, it's fun to do the embellishment on PDFs because you don't have to worry about coloring another page and then it messing up your page because it's like laying weird. But yeah, and that was super fun. I loved coloring this page. I had so much fun and I splattered Again, red acrylic paint for the blood, and I splattered the page with like red acrylic paint. And I didn't do a background because I kind of felt like his colors are so vibrant, they just pop on the white background. So yeah, so this goes into the, to the fly jacket. Uh, next up, um, I am coloring in Tropigoth. And again, Christina from Christina's Art Corner picks out a page every month. And I had picked this page out on my own before she picked her page out because I had everything picked out from September. And I actually didn't, didn't color it until I'm filming this on the 30th. I colored this on like the 20th. And yesterday I colored it. And I looked at my pile and I was like, wait a minute. And then I went back on Instagram and I saw this was the page that she picked. And I was like, oh, I want to participate. I'm, so I colored it like really quick. And I love how she came out. I had a lot of fun. I based with some marker and then shaded with Prismacolor pencil. 
and I had so much fun coloring her. And I used some gold gel pen for just some insides of the flowers. But yeah, I tried to do like blood orange. <laughs> Make it like a like a like the colors of like a blood orange, but I think it worked. I think it came out really cute. I was very happy that I noticed it was part of the part of her the page she picked. The month the page she picked for November, I already colored. So at least I got to participate in October. Um, then I jumped over to my Amanda Jung. I have her Freaks coloring book um, PDF. And I pulled out... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I do have Freaks, but this was pinups. I have pinups as well. And this was in her pinups book, um, Amanda Jung. And I picked The Bride of Frankenstein because I love coloring The Bride of Frankenstein for some reason. Uh, so I just used alcohol marker for like a splotchy background. And then Prismacolor pencil for the rest. And splattered it with some paint. So she was very fun to do. And I am trying to complete those books. Not by any deadline. But I, I do love the Freaks book and the Pinups book. So, And there's not like a ton, a ton of pages. So it's kind of attainable. Um, but I'm just doing it leisurely. Then um, Sugar Sweet. On SugarSweet.com. She posted some... Uh, PDFs and I grabbed them and I decided to color the I guess it's like a witch's shop and it was so much fun I used all Prismacolor pencil and I just had so much fun coloring this came out just so fun and I love how everything came out this was a lot of fun and um, sugarsweet.com s-u-g-a-h sugar <laughs> And then sweet.com. I'll try and post all these links in my description box. Um, if I forget, uh, just you can just drop me a comment and ask and I'll, I'll reply. But I'll try and put as much information to these PDFs as I can. Uh, then I have um, the Tatiana Bulgama, Bulgama Stolova's um Nice little town, witch in witch town. But I have the PDF book because I don't love the Amazon book. So I printed it out on my own paper um, and I colored this page. I have the book too. And then I realized um, after some, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say failed attempts, but just not fun attempts in coloring um, in the book, I decided I wanted to color in in it and I ordered I, I saw she had the PDF on Etsy so I grabbed it um, I did base the sky in um, acrylic marker I use Ohuhu and then just Prismacolor pencils I really just stuck with my Prismacolors this month because I had them out not that the other ones are so far away I mean they're right there but I just felt like coloring with my Prismacolors this month and I had a lot of fun coloring that Um, and then my last page, um, Mystic Art Mirrors came out with a bunch of Halloween images, so off of her Etsy, so I purchased them. I went on her Etsy and I purchased all of the uh, ones that she did, she came out with, and I just colored one. I colored the witch. Um, it's out, it's bordered in black washi tape. I lay down alcohol marker, um, and then the rest was Prismacolor pencil. And I had fun coloring her. I don't love the colors I chose, um, but I didn't want to waste printing out another one to redo it. So I just kind of plowed through and did my best. So, yeah. But I, I like all of, I like her stuff as well, so I definitely grabbed this when I saw that she had released a couple. Yeah, and that's about it, guys. That's all I did for October. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to get to my all the pages that I wanted to color. Like, I had like a thousand books out. Um, I knew that wasn't going to happen. But I didn't even really color in the ones I planned to color in. I kind of just went my own way, I guess. Just trying to organize these as I'm wrapping up the video. Uh, yeah, so I had a lot of fun during Spooky season um it's my favorite time to color and all that 
I'll probably stick to my one Halloween coloring page a month going forward, but we'll see um, what I plan to do for the rest of the year. Uh, I was kind of behind because I was moving and I didn't color a lot, so there are some books I want to tackle. Um, but yeah, I didn't color in my Hannah Lynn, um Sweet and Simple. Um, I was on track to complete that book for this year, so I need to catch up with that. But yeah, for the most part, everything else, um, I had a lot of fun um, finding new things to add to my pages, finding new ways to color on paper that I'm not thrilled with, like just copying it and then attaching it. You saw that like cottons everywhere. Um, attaching it to the original page and leaving it in the book maybe for now. Because, um, you know, I purchase these books and I don't want them to go to waste. And I just... If I'm not having fun coloring on the paper, I'm just not having fun. So I'm going to try other pencils in this book. But before I do another page, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to make a copy of it. Then I'm going to start coloring. And I'm going to really try using other pencils since I don't love coloring in here with my prismas. And we'll see. We'll see if um, I can come up with a solution for my creative haven dilemma. Because Teresa Goodridge, her things are just too good to not color in. But uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. I thank you for watching. Um, trying to think. So people have asked me to do color longs. Um, I am going to try and get some of those done. Uh, they're a little hard for me to do, to be honest, um, because of just how I color. I know some people do color longs and they, they really, they're so fun to, to follow along with. Uh, so I want to try and do that for those who like to do color along who like to follow color alongs um I might start simple I might start with like smaller images with alcohol base um I might do a series where I add elements to the pages like the gauze or the cotton stuff like that um just bear with me we'll get there and uh really that's about it um I thank you guys and please remember to like and subscribe I hope everyone is doing well stay safe and I hope everyone's enjoying their holiday season all the holidays are coming up for everybody so whatever holiday is your is your jam I hope you're having fun and I hope you're getting ready to celebrate all right guys I will see you guys soon stay well